unit five here. This one's all about circle geometry. Pretty close to what we normally do. A few nice changes to fit it into a transformational approach. Um, the first objective basically establishes that all circles are similar. This is actually an important idea if you want to talk about um, radians, uh, how a radian is a constant no matter how big or how small your circle is, that uh, there's a, uh, a proportionality there that holds everything together. This also talks about uh, the idea that I can uh, tr use similar transformations to map one circle onto another, therefore they're similar. Um, CA2 here, of course, is just the standard everything you've done for years. This is chord properties, arc properties, angle properties, all that stuff, all packaged into one little uh, objective. Then we look at a couple constructions. This construction is just basically constructing shapes in the interior uh, of a circle um, or doing uh, vice versa where uh, a shape is um, inscribed or circumscribed. And so we get into the in center, uh, we get into the in circle, we get into the, um, the, the circum center and the circum circle. There's a special construction here. It's funny that an honors item is to construct something that only honors kids can do this and others can't. I don't, I don't know. It is a little more difficult. It's constructing the, the point of tangency given a point and a circle, but I don't know how a construction is honors only. And then radians, uh, great addition here. Love to have the radians there talking about different ways to measure angles, opens our kids eyes a little bit about what's coming and uh, the power of a radian.